Welcome to the first video blog of 2017. Happy, happy new year to you. Uh, I am hoping that you've moved into 2017 feeling inspired and confident about the dreams that you have and goals that you're intending to accomplish. Uh, and I have a hunch that maybe some of you are already starting to experience a little bit of slipping in commitment towards some of those things. And I want to share in this video blog why that happens and uh, some ways to handle that. So I just a story for you, a little update really. 2016 for many people, clients of mine, friends of mine, and myself included, it was a hard year. Right? And I think all of us experience challenges in different ways, be it financial challenges or career challenges, parenting, love, relationships, whatever. The one thing that life guarantees is that there's gonna be ups and downs in it. What really matters is how we respond to those challenges. And sometimes you're gonna respond really well, cope with things really well, but if you get too much stuff thrown on your plate all at once, you can kind of implode. And really for me, that is kind of what happened. I just had too many different things that were, you know, taking my energy in too many different places. And um, I dropped a lot of balls and I'm not proud of that. It's hard to kind of face your peers or colleagues or friends when you know you've let people down. And sometimes, you know, sometimes surviving and getting through those things is, wow, what's important. So I want to share that you know at this time of year although i'm in the health and fitness and weight loss industry i kind of hate this time of year and the reason is is that there is so much messaging coming at women about you know new year new you like somehow the you that you are isn't good enough right you need to reinvent your entire self in order to be worthy or to you know have a good 2017 and i just don't believe that right i actually think that who you are is pretty amazing and sure there might be some parts of your life that you want to renovate or some parts of your body that you want to you know focus on or your health but in general i don't think the new year new you messaging is all that healthy for women to hear over and over and over again the other thing that i'm seeing is a ton of stuff around um insane promises and and helping women create these unrealistic expectations of the kind of change that they think they'll be able to create in their body be it from you know lose 20 pounds in 10 days or a 14 day uh detox that has you drink nothing but liquids you know i'm seeing it all through my social media streams and i just want to be that voice of reason in your head that says don't do it no matter what's going on for you in 2016 right whether it's been years of accumulation of stuff and you're now saying okay it's time to focus on me uh, you're going to make some commitments to something do not let it be that quick fix it is never the answer and you know i think that one of the things that we have to remember is that even when you're choosing change there still can be struggle involved it can sometimes even get harder before it gets easier and case in point for me is my fitness uh, I actually have been not as active or pretty much inactive for quite a few months and that's for a number of reasons but I hate how it makes me feel in my body I, I, I it's not healthy I don't feel good I'm less inspired I'm less able to handle stress well and so I've made a real commitment to getting that back into my day-to-day -day lifestyle habits and I am gonna tell you it has been a challenge I am sore it is it has gotten harder and it has made me question my ability to do it, to fit this in. Do I like how sore I am? Do I like how uncomfortable I feel at the gym? Do I like the way my tights feel when I put them on? Well, the answer is no to all of it, except, so, well, here, to create the change that I wanna create, I have to tap into an, an indeterminable will to keep going to do it day in, day out, to stick to my to the steps, the action steps that I know are gonna take me to my goal. And the same will be true for you. So don't quit when it gets a little bit harder because that's what happens, that's how it rolls. It does get a little bit more challenging before it gets easier. And I really think that sometimes we have this belief that, oh, if I want it, it should come easy. Mm -mm, it doesn't. And in fact, I'm so passionate about this topic that I had to create, uh, I wanted to create a, 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 a mini masterclass it's a three-part video series, it's free, all the videos are less than 10 minutes, where I really share why this time of year can be so toxic for women, and why the, you know, the desire to create all of these health, New Year's resolutions and goals can be one of the most psychologically damaging and self-sabotaging things you could actually do, which kind of goes against a lot of the information out there. So if you want to get access to that video series, just drop down uh, below. There's going to be a place that you can click and enter your, your name and your email address and you'll get instant access to the first video lesson. But I hope you sign up for it. I, I take you through the psychology of change and what happens and what you can do instead. And um, I'd love to hear your feedback on it. 
So moral of this blog today, this video blog is change is good, right? But change requires effort, but so does staying stuck. Staying in a rut also requires effort. And this is a thing that most people don't discern. It takes energy to change and it takes energy to stay stuck because the energy that you expend staying stuck, it's, it's emotional energy. It's, it's the energy you spend feeling awful, worrying, wondering, uh, hating getting dressed in the morning, hating you know the, the fact that you used to be able to run and now you can't, hating how achy your body feels, hating how you, know, you don't wanna go out or be in photos. That's emotional energy that's being expended when you are stuck. The energy to create change is another kind of energy. There's an energy to it that's positive, but you've gotta exert it too, right? The energy to get out and move every day, the energy to prioritize yourself and not let other things, people, demands, take precedence over taking care of you. That's energy to cultivate that mindset and that belief system. And you know, in my experience, the best energy I've ever expended is always on getting out of my own life rut or health rut and moving towards change, even if it sometimes gets harder at first. So again, I welcome you to sign up to my free, you know, mini part or mini masterclass, three little videos that you get all delivered to your email and let me know what you think about them. And I'll be back weekly with my video blog. I hope you're having a great day. Bye for now.